So in this video, we're going to be talking about the anterior cruciate ligament, also known as the ACL. Uh, you might have heard this before. It's often mentioned in the media. You might read on ESPN or something like that about an athlete tearing their ACL uh, in their knee. Uh, the ACL is a commonly injured uh, ligament in the knee. It often happens uh, with a non-contact injury, meaning you just plant and the knee twists and the knee uh, ligament tears. Um, it's an important ligament because it helps uh, stabilize the knee and specifically keep the shin bone from moving too far forward on the thigh bone. And it also provides some rotational stability as well. Patients who have this injury might feel a pop, they might have a lot of swelling, uh, difficulty putting weight on the leg, and uh, those are typically some of the main findings in somebody who has this injury. The ACL injury can usually be diagnosed with a a detailed physical exam and then an MRI helps confirm that. It's also important to keep in mind that an ACL tear is commonly associated with other injuries and so getting this checked out appropriately is uh, very important. Uh, so in this video we will go into what the anatomy of the ACL is, what it actually does, and hopefully that helps everybody uh, understand uh, the ACL a little bit better. So in this video, we are talking about the anatomy of the ACL. So here's our knee model. And if we bend the knee, we will see inside. And we have here what's called the notch. And you can see this space, which we call the notch, and the ACL is inside of this space. If I turn the model here, you can see this ligament where it attaches to the tibia. So that's the ACL attachment on the tibia. The ACL then runs back up towards the thigh bone and attaches up here. So this elastic band represents the ACL. And so the ACL's function is to help keep the shin bone from moving too far forward on the thigh bone. So it looks like this. So if the shin bone shifts forward, you can see how that elastic band wants to tighten. So the shin bone will shift forward and then the ACL, which is right here, will restrain the shin bone from moving too far forward. Of course, if the shin bone shifts too much, then that exceeds the load of the ACL and the ligament will tear. In addition to just translating forward, the ACL also helps with some rotation.